Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Wagner here, and in this video, I want to do a review of another Shaw Brothers classic. This time it is called Disciples of Shaolin. I got this beautiful box collection or Blu-ray collector's edition. I don't know if it's collector's edition from 88 Films. Slip cover there. I did an unboxing of this a while back, but I didn't do a proper review. So I thought, you know what, let's turn on the camera, do a review for you of this movie. Disciples of Shaolin is from 1975, directed by Chang Che. I'll give my letter grade in uh, the end of this video. Uh, let's get to the IMDb synopsis first. Impetuous young martial arts master Kuang takes a job at a textile factory where another disciple of the revered Shaolin disciples warn him about the rival Manchu clan who run another nearby mill. <laughs> Reading this IMDb synopsis is like very poorly written and not really that great. Um, basically, a couple of Shaolin martial artists are kind of somewhat incognito undercover at this textile factory working to just kind of make some money, keep a low profile and not really get into any trouble. But uh, one of them can't really you know, he needs to kind of show off his Kung Fu. He's young, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's anxious, and he wants to kind of elevate his, his uh, lifestyle. He's, he's kind of poor, they're both kind of country bumpkins, kind of poor and broke, and uh, one of them, and uh, let's talk about the cast, one of them. So Alexander Fushang is kind of like the young dis disciple or the Shaolin master of Kung Fu that um, really wants to break out. He's like, I'm tired of these, these shoes that I'm wearing. I have holes in them. My clothes are raggy. I know some Kung Fu. I'm going to mess things up. But um, his, his, his home, homeboy, uh, played by Chi Quan Chun, is kind of uh, a little older, a little wiser. He's actually been at this factory for a while. And he's like, no, no, you got you to gotta chill. You can't you know, show off your Kung Fu. There's, there's danger. The mob is, is ruthless. They're cunning. And um, we sort of see how uh, the story kind of unfolds uh, from that um, prospect. I don't know if that's succinct enough for an IMDb synopsis, but you came to watch my video, so there's there's my Rob synopsis there in a in a, in a heartbeat. So um, let me get back to my notes here. So Alexander Fushang's willingness to show off his kung fu and repel the ongoing attacks from the rival gangs gives him favor and fortune. With the factory boss, the boss is like, "All right, you can, you can have this jade coin, and you can have some new shoes. Just you know, let's let's roll up together with this." Um, I would say that this movie has a lot of emotional moments, a lot of emotional beats. Well, with Alexander Fushang now, if you know me and you know my YouTube channel, I'm a fan of Alexander Fushang. I, uh, you know, he passed away early at an early age, and I thought he could have been like a huge breakout star. Star from the handful of movies that he put together, um, you, you could really see uh, his charm and his charisma, or as the kids say today, his riz. Um, so I, I wrote down my notes, has, uh, has a nice emotional drama with Alexander Fushang on an arc from rags to riches, but with lots of backstabbing and treachery behind the scenes that gets the best of him in the end. Again, spoiler alerts on these reviews. I wrote down um, most notable as a vehicle for Fushang in the lead, showing off lots of his uh, dramatic acting chops as well as some martial arts ability. The martial arts choreography and the fighting is is okay. It's not like the most amazing, uh, but I think you kind of drawn in a little bit with like kind of the story, the Rex to Riches kind of story and uh, Fushang's dramatic turn here. Um, I would say that some of the cons, uh, the movie goes into uh, the end fight scene, kind of goes into black and white. And when I was a kid, I I've seen this movie many times and I used to watch it on TV. And as a kid, I thought, oh, they're doing this to like censor, you know, the blood and the gore, you know, factor that Chang Che is kind of known for. And um, I thought, oh, well, when I get the uh, the Blu-ray of this, sure enough, it'll be like the uncensored. It'll be in full glorious color. But it turns out that that's the way Chang Che kind of shot it, um, you know, uh, just to, you know, to make it stylized, maybe to sort of like hinder some of the blood on screen to sort of let it pass a little more into, uh, you know, these movies are from the seventies. So, you know, we still had a lot of censoring going on, but it's interesting when you watch like a, a newer movie, like Kill, Kill Bill, Quentin Tarantino, when he goes from like color to black and white to kind of 
sense of that. I, I'm sure like maybe this movie or some of these other ones uh, has directly inspired Quentin to uh, make some of those uh, visual decisions. Um, I also wrote down in my notes, or I kind of already knew this, it's kind of a, a remake of The Boxer from Shantan, which came out in 1972. And then, of course, this movie, or Box of Fun Shantan, was remade again as the Barefoot Kid, Barefooted Kid from 1993. Those are in the uh, Arrow Shawscope box sets, which if you're a fan of Charbelas, you should own both of those as well. I'm curious to see what's going to be in Shawscope Volume 3 when, when hopefully that gets announced, you know, for later this year. So let me get to my letter score and uh, final thoughts. So Disciples of Shaolin, 1975, Chang Che. I'm going to give it a C plus. It's like above average. I feel like there's a lot more that could have been done visually to this movie and maybe emotionally. Some of it <laughs> drags a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's a movie that I've watched uh, before and I like it. And I enjoy, uh, I enjoy it. I've got the um, reversible cover there. What do we get on the extras? Um, limited edition slipcase, Kung Fu Bob artwork, shout outs to him. Uh, remastered audio commentary with Michael Eater and Ani Venema. And commentary by film journalist and author Sam Dijon. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. And interview with Jamie Luck by Frederick Ambrosian, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name correctly, uh, trailer and uh, reversible sleeve and poster artwork. Oh, yes, I think there's a poster inside here. So there it is. If you if you want to pick this up, I don't know if this is if the slip cases are still available from 88 Films, but great packaging. So there it is, my Disciples of Shaolin review. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this movie or, uh, you know, if you have some pros or cons of this movie yourself or if you're a fan of uh, Alexander Fushang. I'm, I'm curious if... Um, you know, I know he's kind of uh, polarizing. Some people are pro-Alexander Fushang, and some people find that he is just uh, a movie ruiner, spoiler uh, for a movie. So I'll be curious to uh, get the feedback. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.